So the door is not a place for me to think of what to do or not to do. When you want to pray, many of you pray with your problems in your mind. That is why you cannot enter. They close it. You cannot even shut the door. They shut in the door. You cannot be in the presence of Jesus and you are thinking, imagine the president of the country visits me. Please, am I communicating? And it's in my room. And we are talking. And I'm doubting whether something will be done in the place when I have the president in my midst. And I'll be budging. And the president asks me, what's the problem? I tell him, I want to open a petroleum company. He will say, why you think I am the one that gives? I, I, I approve these things. Am I communicating? He'll be angry with you. How can you be in a dilemma to open a petroleum company when I'm the one that signs authorization? Am I communicating? So he will tell you, leave that worry. I've come to chat with you. Leave that worry. It is small for me. But what many people do is that they enter prayer with problems in their mind. They have not shut the door. If you truly shut the door, nothing will mean anything to you again. Because you are in the presence of the one that signs the documents of petroleum companies. Praise God. Jesus said, shut the door. You have all the time for yourself, but the time you want to communicate with the Father, shut the door. Praise God. Come into yourself. That's your closet. Bring your consciousness into his presence. Then, shut the door. Whatever anybody has said about you, shut the door. Whatever you think about another person, shut the door. Because it is a secret time, yet it's a sacred time. Amen. What will be happening in that, in that throne room, the next day, nobody may know. But he says, your father will see you in secret. He will not reward you secretly because people will not know that he is the one. He will reward you openly so that everybody will see and know that you shut the door. Acts 16, 25 and 26. Praise God. I told some people that there is nothing like breakthrough. They are watching again all over the world. I'm not against you. I'm not against anything in your mind. Please look for it in the Bible and show me. Let's understand it together. There is nothing like breakthrough. The Bible says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. Many of you want to pray, let people not hear you. 26. And so, what, what is, they say the prisoners heard them. Am I communicating? Let me show you what happened when if your neighbor cannot hear your prayer, then is it God? Go to 26. I love this day. I, I, it was only these last, these last two words, heard them, that took us on to this long talk. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. I have not told you to pray at midnight. Just wait, I will tell you when to pray. And some praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. My brother, there is no way a small prayer, a quiet prayer can cause earthquake. Because Paul and Silas did not just pray. I know they were hitting the earth. The Bible says so there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaking. And immediately all the doors were open. Open doors. The Bible says the, door was, the doors were not scattered. They were opened neatly. The Holy Spirit is a neat man. He's the neatest gentleman you can ever think of. And everyone's bands were loose. <laughs> can I tell you something? It was not Paul and Silas whose bands were loose. All the prisoners. Am I communicating? It was not only Paul and Silas whose bands were loosed. There are some prayers you pray in some places. Your neighbors are blessed because of you. Yes, but they can never testify. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are talking about the door. The door. The door. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Revelation chapter number 4 verse 1. Rev 4 verse 1. 
The Bible says, after this I looked, and behold, the door was open in heaven. It means there's a door in heaven. <laughs> Am I communicating? There is a door in heaven. And you know the door, who the door is. And the first voice which I heard was, uh, was as if it were a trumpet talking with me. We said, come up higher. <laughs> and I will show the things which must be hereafter. Amen. Listen, there is nobody that has a coin on here with the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit does not show you some things. You cannot move with the Holy Spirit, have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit without your friend revealing some things to you. If it has not happened to you, then the Holy Spirit is not your friend. If you have a good friend, a good friend, if they are plotting against you, the friend will come and tell you. Am I communicating? He will come and tell you before time that be very careful. This is what is happening. This is what is happening. Okay, you, you take God. Praise God. That's the Holy Spirit. Even if you don't want to hear, he come and troubles you in the night that get up and pray. He kicks you. Get, 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 get up, get up. You need to pray. You need to pray. And you're sleeping and you're sleeping. Immediately strangers come. You get up and you scatter into tongues. That's your friend. That's a good friend. Praise God. Amen. Revelation 3.20. You know that one very well. Rev 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will soup with him and he with me. It has never been a one-way issue. It's a two-way. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Then I want to show you something. There's a thief. There's a there is a thief man. He heard about a door and he wants to do some things about the door. <laughs> John chapter number 10 verse 1. John chapter 10 verse 1. The Bible says, Very, verily I say unto you, ye that enter not by the door, not by the door, into the sheepfold, but climb it up some other way through the window, or through the ceiling. The same is a thief. It's not only a thief, it's a robber. Am I communicating? Yes, the Bible says, but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Yes, Praise God. Is the shepherd of the sheep. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Have you understood? He is the door of the sheep. He's going nowhere. That's why even when he died, Jesus, in the flesh, he came back as Jesus Christ to be your door. He is the door of the sheep. That's the real explanation. He does not go anywhere. He does not keep the sheep there, the sheep folk, and go somewhere. He's there. So it's a 24 on 24 hour exercise. Am I communicating? Go to John 10 verse 9. Praise God. Hallelujah. He repeats it. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in those, even till now, the sheep cannot drink water from a fast flowing river. Am I communicating? If the stream is fast flowing, they cannot drink. They cannot drink. So the shepherd has to be, be with them to take them and lead them to a still water. Psalms 23. Am I communicating? So if Jesus says I'm the door, it's not an issue of, it's not a doubt. It's a reality. Because he's dead 24 on 24. There is no time you have ever heard a, a, a big man of God or maybe a, some people somewhere calling the name of Jesus and Jesus is absent when they truly are in Jesus and Jesus is in them. Am I communicating? At the time you are sleeping, there's a crusade somewhere. The name of Jesus is walking. As we are talking, the name of Jesus is walking in Australia. In America, it's happening now. The name of Jesus is walking. That's why the Bible says that he does not sleep nor slumber. If he blink for one second, he knows who the devil is. He cannot blink for one second. One second. 
Hallelujah. And praise God. Hallelujah. And praise God. We'll be rounding up with this. God has never made a mistake. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, what I want to show you here is very high, but I don't have much time to explain. But I know that your mind is very fast to catch up what God has for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible is the most outstanding design of books put together ever seen in the whole world. Any scholar of the Bible will tell you that there are some people who went to the Bible to study, not as Christians, but they ended up being born again because of the discoveries they made. They were tangible, they were real, they were standing and right to the point. Praise God and hallelujah. This is what was discovered in the Bible. I want to show you in relation to the door. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Is that true? And the New Testament was written in Greek. Praise God. And during the study of the Old Testament, there are the first five books of the Bible. How do you call them? Torah, Torah, Torah. Amen. If you check in the Hebrew Bible and you go to Genesis, the first book of the Bible, and you want to study Genesis in Hebrew, if you check the spelling of Torah, you have words like this. In Hebrew. In the Hebrew translation. Am I communicating? That is how actually Torah appears in Hebrew. Praise God. But in the Hebrew letters. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, in Genesis, during the study, it was discovered that when you met the first word in Hebrew that will be put together to make Torah, for example, this is Genesis. Praise God. When you meet the first word, if you meet T in Hebrew, in Genesis, for example, you go and you start reading, in the beginning was, huh? Okay. God, in the beginning, God created. When you meet the first word in Hebrew, that relates to this T, you stop, right? You count 49 words in Hebrew. And in Hebrew, you don't read from left to right like you do in English. You read from right to left. Am I communicating? I know they are fast learners here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Are you there? It was discovered that when you read the first letter that corresponds to T in Hebrew, in Genesis, when you read that letter, you count 49 letters after you will meet the next letter, O, in Hebrew. And when you count 49 letters after, you meet the next letter, R, in Hebrew. Am I communicating? And when you count 49 letters after, you meet the letter H in Hebrew. It means 49 letters apart, it was discovered that the Torah was found in Genesis. Am I communicating? And scholars thought that it was only Genesis that had it, that design. You know, the DNA is a specific design in your genes that determines your outcome. And that's what makes you different from another person. Am I communicating? And when the scholars checked the book of Exodus, they discovered that it was the same. No mistake. If you check the first letter, when you get to T in Hebrew, when you count 49 letters after, you meet O. You count 49 letters after, you meet R. You count 49 letters after, you meet H in Hebrew. And it was the same. It became very astonishing. They decided to go to the next book, which is? Which is? Leviticus. And when they went to Leviticus, they did not find it. It was not there. So people who are atheists and they were against this design, they said, see, see, see these Christians. People think this thing just happened by mistake. 
It's, it's a mistake. You know when miracles happen in church, people tell them it was your time. It was, it was supposed to be the time that you were supposed to be healed. And the people too are confused that yes, it was my time. Go. When the pie comes back, you will come back with pie plus blood, boys. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Are you here? And the Bible scholar decided to continue. But when they went now to numbers, it was discovered that they actually saw these letters in numbers, but they were in the reverse order. So instead of Torah to be in this order, it was R H O T. But the same design when you meet H, 49 letters after you meet R, 49 letters after you meet O, is that what you're seeing? And 49 letters after you meet T to make the Torah. And, and they told those guys who were disputing that it just happened by mistake. They said, have you seen? Something is happening. They said, no, those things, those things can happen, you know. They can play with words. Play with words when you're writing. Praise God. And they went to the last book of the Torah, which is Dethrone Your Enemy. Praise God. And they discovered that what they found in Deuteronomy was the same as what they found in Numbers. It was in the reverse order. Torah starting from right to left. Praise God. This kept Bible scholars astonished. And they said, it cannot be like that. It means there is something in Leviticus they have to go back and find. And when they went back to Leviticus, they discovered something outstanding. That instead of the word Torah, they discovered another word which is very important to you, which is Yahweh. Now, this Yahweh did not appear in the 49 letters interval in the Hebrew Bible, but it appeared in the seven letters interval. After every seven letter, they saw the next. After every seven letter, they saw the next. They put the words together and made the name Yahweh in Hebrew. Praise God. When Moses wrote the Bible from Genesis to Deuteronomy, he called it Torah without knowing this design. Am I communicating? And when they saw that Yahweh is at the book that divides the five books of the Torah, it became outstanding because if you have ever done physics, you know that this is a mirror image. If you put your mirror here, this is what it will reflect. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? I don't want to care whether it's level de um, dexterous or level rotatory or dextro. I don't want to worry you. Don't bother. We'll continue. I want to tell you that this is the des design they saw. Praise God. And, and there they could not explain. So they called for me. Am I communicating? Yes, they could not explain. So they called for me. They said I should come. Uh, there's something they are discovering here. They don't know the explanation. When I came, I stood. I looked at it. I laughed. The Holy Spirit said, go. And when I came, I told them that wherever you go, God is at the center. Yes, Listen to me. That's not the solution. God is at the center. If you check the history of the Bible, how Adam started, Adam started and he failed. But if you check very well, although Adam failed, God sent another Adam who is Jesus. Everything that is going to happen in this world will take us back to creation. It will take us back to Genesis. Why? Because Jesus, God said, I will bring a new heaven and a new earth. Yes, man has started and has failed and is going. But God's purpose and redemption for man is to bring back man to the original state that man was in a new heaven and a new earth. I explained to them. They were happy. But it was not too much of a mystery to them. I told them that, okay, they should wait. I told them that I'm seeing Jesus here. They told me, no, they have not seen Jesus. They have studied everything. They did not see Jesus. I said they should wait. I'm the son of the apostle. The apostle sent me for something. We don't only talk prophecy. They should watch. We give details. Rema. Yes, 
This is Hebrew. Now, I told them that it is God because God was at the center because God needed to do a square to give you 49 and 49 and 49 and 49 interval. They said it was not too much. Let me go further. I said, yes, I'm the son of the apostle, but more you are going to understand. I left Hebrew. I went to Greek. Am I communicating? I went to Greek and I was studying the door. They told me Jesus is not there. They told me Jesus is not there and I told them Jesus is there. I saw Jesus. The Holy Spirit told me Jesus is there. Praise God. I saw Jesus. They said, tell me, tell me. Tell me, son of the apostle. I said, yes. Major is here. And I did not take long. When I started studying Greek, I discovered something outstanding. Greek and Hebrew are two different languages. They are not connected. Am I communicating? Now, they had it like this because they were using Hebrew. But I said, okay, let me go to Greek. And when I studied Greek, I discovered that when I checked the door, the meaning for door in Greek is called Torah. It is Jesus. Jesus showed himself in the design. I said, Jesus showed himself in the design. How would a different language have the same name for the very thing? This is the name for the door in Greek, not Hebrew. Two unconnected languages. Your presence here is not by mistake. There is a design in the realm of the spirit. You did not appear on planet earth by mistake. God appointed the time for you to come because there are souls you need to save. Another pastor cannot save. That is what I discovered. The Torah, Greek, in Hebrew means door. It means everything here was leading to one man, Jesus Christ. Is the reason why we are here today. That is why we are worshipping him. Praise God. Many people will be marveled. I mean, pastors that are watching, they'll be like, where is this coming from? I just want to let you know that it's not my ability. It's the grace at work. That's the door. Jesus was saying that I am the door. You cannot start the well without me. And you cannot finish it without me. You will still need me. When you go to the toilet, be careful the way you use it because you will need it again. Don't mess up the door. Don't mess up the door you pass through to go into a place where you learn something because you still need the door to go out. Because there will, there will be a time you need this door to have access to the real place you were supposed to belong, which is heaven. And when you'll be there, there will be a time you need to come back to the new heaven and the new earth. Jesus is real. I said, Jesus is real. I said, Jesus is real. And he is the door. Hallelujah. And praise God. He's the reason why we are here.